Manchester United's pursuit of Jerry Branthwaite is all but over, with Everton ready to cash in on another one of their stars and removing the need to sell their prized defender. Branthwaite has been one of United's top targets in defence and the 21-year-old had reportedly agreed personal terms on a move to the Red Devils. However, United had seen multiple bids turned down by Everton, the largest of which was thought to be worth up to 60 million euros, with the Toffees wanting at least 80 million euros for the England international. Man United's 10 Most Expensive Transfers of All Time United's desire to strengthen multiple areas of their squad has prevented the club from coming close to Everton's demands and, while Eric Ten Hag's side were expected to make a new bid, the deal looks unlikely to progress any further, according to The Athletic. Everton have agreed to sell midfielder Amadou Onana to Aston Villa for £50 million, pounds, €59 million, Euros, in a move that would ease the immediate need to cash in on any other stars, including Branthwaite. Consequently, United have already begun to approach other centre-backs such as Matthijs de Ligt and a move for the Bayern Munich star could be edging closer after a development at Old Trafford. United set to sell defender to fund like-for-like -like replacement. United have been looking to sell players in order to fund their transfer business and the club were hoping to target Branthwaite along with de Ligt or another centre-back. But with seemingly nothing imminent over the sales of players such as Casemiro and Harry Maguire, United have been exploring other departures to try and raise funds. And a breakthrough was made in the rebalancing of United's defence after Willy Cambuala agreed to join Villarreal for €10 million, Euros, with the 19-year-old set to pen a five-year deal with the La Liga side. United will retain a buyback clause on the centre-back, but it means that a space has opened up in the defence for the club to push for a player like De Ligt. A €50 million Euro offer has also been made for Lanery Euro and although the Lille defender prefers a move to Real Madrid, the Spanish side have yet to agree a fee for the teenager, giving United hope that he may end up choosing their contract instead. With Manchester United aiming to reshape themselves as shrewd investors in the market, there are few better options than Lanery Euro. He embodies all the traits the club needs, a youthful presence who would undoubtedly strengthen the backline. As Raphael Varane departs and Harry Maguire's exit seems likely, Euro would symbolize a positive step in Ineo's commitment to the future. Born in a Paris suburb in 2005, Euro's football journey began in Villeneuve d'ASCQ, a town not far from Lille. Naturally, the League One club's youth academy were quick to scout the teenager and signed him. Who is Jorge Mendes? The super agent with a 1.44 billion euro football empire. A day after his 16th birthday, Euro made his League One debut in the penultimate game of the 2021-22 season, a 3-1 victory over Nice, but it wasn't until the second half of the 2022-23 season that he started to stand out. He made 766 minutes that time, performing as a bit part player but slowly becoming a key player under head coach Paolo Fonseca, on the right side of defence as part of a 4-3-2-1 system. Despite being the tender age of 18, Euro has made 61st team appearances for Lille. And last season, he made the most minutes than any other player in the side, landing a spot in the League One Team of the Year and France's preliminary squad for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games along the way. A right-footed centre-back Euro will be competing with Matthijs de Ligt if both are bought to Old Trafford. He is deployed as the final man, allowing someone like Lisandro Martinez to position himself further upfield and make those line-breaking passes. Who is Johan Bakayoko? The PSV winger wanted by Liverpool and Chelsea. Lanery Euro, a star in the making. Euro had the highest success rate in duels last campaign, he is an intelligent defender, rarely tricked by feints and knowing when to dive a foot in or wait. He effectively prevents attackers from turning, often disrupting their possession even without winning the ball cleanly. He has a calm demeanor when defending and it's this organized approach that means he does not get caught out by runners in behind. Standing at 6 feet 3 inches, Euro has the height to ensure that the Man United backline is not overrun with high balls into the box, with Martinez having an extremely low volume of aerial duels won. Euro boasts the best success rate for headers at Lille, 67.86%, and the fifth best overall in League One. He is in no way a ball-playing centre-back, he plays sharp, low passes to the double pivot or the wing-backs, seldom engaging the front line with the ball. 
With Martinez, this won't be a problem as the Argentine is more than capable of breaking the lines, but it's an area of Euro's game that must be worked on with Eric Ten Hag at Carrington. Euro has been billed as the Kylian Mbappe of defenders, such is his ability at this age. It would take something special for that to manifest, as well as game time. With each passing minute on the pitch, he will grow more, and if Man United put him along with Martinez as their starting central defenders, over the supposedly incoming De Ligt, Man United will have a superstar in their midst in no time. Jadon Sancho is set to be reintegrated into the Manchester United squad following discussions with manager Eric Ten Hag, a source has told ESPN. Sancho hasn't played for United since August after publicly criticising the Dutchman in a social media post. He spent the second half of last season on loan at former club Borussia Dortmund, reaching the Champions League final. But after holding a meeting with Ten Hag this week, Sancho has returned to training with the first team. He will not travel to Norway for the pre-season friendly with Rosenborg on Monday but will be available for selection moving forward. United face Rangers at Murrayfield on July 20 before travelling to the US on July 24 for a three-match tour. Sancho was banished from the squad after suggesting Ten Hag had lied about his reasons for dropping him for a 3-1 defeat to Arsenal in September. Ten Hag has repeatedly said the 24-year-old would not be allowed to return until he apologised. United have refused to disclose whether or not Sancho apologised during his meeting with Ten Hag. The club have been open to offers for Sancho this summer with Juventus one of the clubs interested, but their valuation of £40 million, $51.9 million, has proven problematic. A statement published on the club's website on Friday read, Jadon Sancho returned for testing on Wednesday following his loan spell at Borussia Dortmund during the second half of last season. The 24-year-old forward trained with the group on Thursday. Earlier on Friday, United announced that 36-year-old defender Johnny Evans had signed a new one-year contract extension to remain at the club for the 2024-25 season. The United Academy graduate returned to the club last year after eight seasons away playing for West Bromwich Albion and Leicester City. He appeared in 30 games across all competitions, including the FA Cup final victory over Manchester City. To play for this great club and feel the support from our incredible fans is always a privilege, Evans said in a statement. Returning to the club last season was an honour, representing the team on the pitch alongside fantastic teammates under an excellent manager. Winning the FA Cup together was an unforgettable experience, I know we can challenge for more trophies in the season ahead. Evans won three Premier League titles and two Carabao Cups during his first spell at Old Trafford.